Now I want to show you why people physically impossible that do a three minute plank. Well, maybe if you guys the number one Guinness book or something. I'm talking about general population. I'm talking about my girls and I'm talking about you're here. Okay, we're, we're normal humans, right? How can people that tell you that can do a three minute plank, I want you to challenge them. If they say to you, Oh, I can do a three minute plank, I can do a two minute plank. I want you to challenge them because I promise if they start doing the planks the way I'm gonna teach you right now, there is no way in earth they can do a two, three minute plank, okay? And if they can do, they can even come live with me because I'm gonna teach you a way that if you see my videos, yeah, fine, you already learned. But if you're new here, if you haven't seen my videos, oh, you're not gonna be able to do it. So, I'm tying my hair because now things are getting serious. How do we start the plank? You can use a little pillow if you have, or you can use a little pad, okay? I'm gonna use a pillow because it seems like easier people have pillows at home. I'm gonna put my pillow on the side. We always start the exercise from the bottom, bottom up. Why? Because it's much easier to organize yourself and create a better mechanics, create a better mind-muscle connection when you position yourself in a way that your body cannot cheat. Let me give you an example. If I start the plank like this with my butt up, when I start doing the plank, most likely my butt's gonna stay up. If your butt stay up, what is gonna happen is you're not engaging your core. I don't know if you were here for the upper body class, but if my butt is up, it's the same as the push-up that we talk about, see? I'm taking the core out of the equation. And I want my core, so we always start from the bottom. Is I don't know where to put my elbows. Put your elbows directly under your shoulder. I'm gonna be like that. Put your elbows directly under your shoulder. Some people even teach you how to do this. Okay, you can even do that if you want, as long as your hands are here. Now, when I go up, look how much easier it is to go up like this and not cheat. Right? Compared to this, if I'm standing here, because my butt's already up. When I extend my legs, it's gonna be up. Isa, you got that pillow for what? I'm gonna put the pillow between my knees and I'm going to squeeze that. Why? Because I wanna create tension from my legs to my butt to my lower back, okay? Because this, all this is your core. Beautiful. Now, if I create tension, just by squeezing that between my leg, I'm already shaking, okay? Now, we learn the breathing. First thing in this class, inhale, exhale. What do you do when I exhale? Ribs in. So you tell me that I have to be here. Inhale, exhale, push my ribs in. Inhale, push my ribs in. And keep that core tight, keep that butt. I'm already shaking. Now, go down, take a break. Did you notice the difference? Put in the comment. Or, or comment in this video when we're done. Did you feel the difference? And if you said yes, I have something even better for you. Now that's when you're gonna say, wow, this was already so much harder. Because if I keep my butt up, I'm not engaging my, my core. I told you when I'm here, my butt's up, my core is not engaged. That's why we did this. We did the tuck, we did the ribs. Get it? It's the same position if I'm here, Look, and I'm here. Same thing on the plank. And you're like, oh shit, that's our shit moment. Yes, it is. On the bottom. Now, I see on the kick, you're here, your ribs are in, your butt's tight, your tuck is in. Now you're like, okay, how can I make this harder? No, I don't wanna make it harder. How can I make this harder? Because this is all what we're gonna think about when we're training. I want you to imagine your elbow towards your toes, your toes towards your elbow. Simple like this. And I promise, if you can do two minutes of this, send me a message, because I want to meet you, I wanna go live with you. <laughs> do you notice the difference? Do you notice why we do this? Why do we pay attention so much on mechanics? Why we hit so much on my muscle connection? Why we need to make sure every single muscle that we're using is activated, it's working properly. So we don't keep doing 
reps and reps and reps and reps without seeing results. We have to understand a concept is what can I do to make my body burn more calories at rest? In order to do this, I need to target my little muscles. I need to target with precise exercises, with precise movements. The little two inches that we move here and we did this, that's gonna make a huge difference. This is what I mean by training smarter. You're gonna train smarter because you're going to make your body burn more calories. You're gonna make your body work the 23 hours that we have left. Why? Because I want a body that it burns calories at rest. I want a body that will do that when I'm not killing myself on the treadmill. We talk so much this week about cardio. And it's like, why women still keep beating themselves cardio after cardio when we know that once you turn off that machine, your body's gonna stop burning more calories. Do you understand why I'm so passionate about this? I really hope you do. But if you don't, send me a message. I will explain it in a better way.